Well, Grace Harris, thank you for meeting me in uh, beautiful, sunny Brisbane. No worries. Good to see you. How are you? Yeah, pretty good, pretty yeah. good. Who's this little friend of yours? This is Dory, my three-year-old Dalmatian. Hey, Dory, how are you? Hello. She's a little rat bag sometimes, but very food oriented, just like her owner. So <laughs> easy to train. Well, speaking of food, should we go and get something to eat? Yeah. Why get not? a coffee? I'm always up for a bite. Let's do it. Come on. Hey, girl. Come on. What's it been like sort of walking around Brisbane as a, as a WBBL champion? You sort of got a spring in your step, is your chest puffed out? <laughs> you know? It's business as usual, I guess. For the first few weeks, I just really wanted just to celebrate it. Um, because it is a it's a pretty good achievement and it was only midway through that I really felt that we had a chance to, to be honest. Brisbane Heat will win their first title. Dremoyne's in shock. And Brisbane are up in arms. They're loving it. Take us back to that final that's early final. this year. How good yeah. was it, hey? It was pretty, it was pretty bloody good. Against the Sixers, you know, they were the benchmark team for most of the competition and they had a lot of quality players. You know, if you go through their top six, they they basically bat to nine at least. You're playing a, a finals ready team, like a, a team that's been there and done that and they've done it on multiple occasions. So as daunting as it, as it is, you can kind of look at it that way and go like, oh, you know, we're no chance of beating the sixes. Yeah. Or you can kind of go, listen, if you want to be the best, you got to beat the best anyway. So I kind of... I liked it. They have dug deep and credit to a number of their players, particularly Grace Harris. I think she was the difference, so uh, well done to her. You said to me after you won that you wanted burgers, chips, ice cream and a couple of Cokes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and no, I got it. Did you get it? <laughs> um, I got chips for sure. I, I think I've still been eating them um, since the final last year, but I got chips. We had pizza, not burgers, because it was a team consensus. So, you know, I got outvoted there. Can this group go back to back this year? Um, I would like to think so. We've gained different players, we've lost a couple, but I think I think we've got the right core to go back to back. Um, with Jono, myself, um, Beth Mooney obviously at the top, very good T20 player. Um, even people like Laura Harris, I know that she's my sister and I probably sh shouldn't give her a rap, but she did really well for us down in the lower order and we're hoping to be that consistent kind of all the way through again this year. Cut. Grace Harris has got a wicket. You've been likened to Andrew Simons in the sense of, of how you play. How does that sit with you? I'm very flattered that people would compare me to a pretty high-profile legend of the game because Andrew Simons could do everything, basically. He just really enjoyed himself off the field too, which is what I'd love to bring to my game as well. But he's he's got the stats and he's got a, a pretty decent record, but I don't really do cricket for the stats or for the, the records. I really... I actually just thoroughly enjoy playing the game. Yeah! You're in the Aussie setup. Where are you at in terms of getting back into that who do you need to knock off to get in? Probably either Sophie Molyneux or probably Ash Gardner, to be honest, because she's from New South Wales. I'd rather not knock Jono out because she's a fellow Queenslander and we kind of need her for a uh, state and big match season. For me, I don't really aim for teams as such. So for me, my goals for this season would be to be basically as monstrous as last season and just destroy bowling teams and, and the power play it was my goal last season. So every every time I went out to bat, my job was solely just to get our team off to like a blistering start and, and try and put all the bowlers on the back foot. Well, there it is. This is what we know Grace Harris can bring to the table. I just really want to be um, an aggressive player. And, and as for my bowling, I want to just... I like what I did last season too, so... For this season, you only you got to be about 10% better just to stay that little bit ahead. I guess that's time to go. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Grace. We look forward to seeing you uh, firing this WBBL season. Thanks for having me. Anytime. Dory loves it too. <laughs> <laughs>